Welcome back to my channel, it is your girl Dutchie. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my first laser hair removal appointment on my underarms and bikini line because I know I had a lot of questions leading up to my appointment and like what to do in order to prepare, how much it was going to cost, how much it was going to hurt. Ouch. So I decided to make a video answering all those types of questions. I decided to put a poll up on my Instagram asking whether or not you guys would be interested in this sort of video because it is sort of different to the type of video I create. But it got an overwhelming response. All of you guys wanted it and a lot of you messaged me saying yes, 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 please. So here it is. Before I get into the video, if you are new here, hi, my name is Dutchie. I normally create loads of LGBT content, skits, vlogs, advice, videos, you name it, I create it. So if you like the sound of that or me, then it would mean the absolute world to me if you could go down, hit that red subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a notification for when I upload. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So last week I went in for my patch test, got all the costs sorted and really talked through what was going to happen, how laser works, etc, etc. And then today I had my first session and I really want to talk to you guys about it because it's quite like an interesting thing and I know I had a lot of questions so that's the, those are the questions that I want to answer for you guys today. And yeah, I might even speak about the patch test real quick too because I didn't really know what to expect for that either. So basically a week before or judging on your skin type as well, but you always sort of need to have a patch test. Now, now, most places will provide this for free. So a patch test and like this initial sort of appointment thing before you have your actual sessions is to talk through your skin type, your pain threshold, I guess, where you're getting it done. They do a test on one of the areas that you're planning on getting laser, depending on your skin color and like hair color, I suppose. I've been told that laser works best on like really fair skinned people with dark hair follicles. Um, I don't think it works well on like really blonde, like really light hair, but obviously like I'm not a professional, so you could easily go and get this patch test and see whether or not laser suitable for you and your skin type and your hair. Can you be quiet? Text going off the chain today. So I went and did that last Wednesday. So they just tell you like what laser is all about, how it works and what to expect in terms of pain. So I basically got told that the pain was meant to be enough that I almost wanted to pull away from it. And I was freaking out at this point because I was like, oh my gosh, does it hurt that much? And now I have never been someone that thought I had a low pain threshold, but I also didn't think I was exceptionally high, but I found out my real pain threshold today. So I will be getting into that, but I was like, okay, cool. So she did like probably six or seven zaps on my underarm. She was like, that's all good, that's done. And I was like, really? And she didn't even have to do down there as a patch test because she could tell that the color of my hair there would be the same down there and it's quite dark so she didn't need to do a test on the two areas and from that she knew exactly what settings to put on the machine because there are varying settings depending on your skin and everything the therapist will obviously explain this to you but so yeah that's all she did it was literally like a five ten minute appointment and it was over and then because these treatments were on special I paid for them in advance so I paid for that all up front which the cost I will get to and then you also pay for two aftercare products which I'll also talk about later but that's all included in the price now for six sessions and the two products included I paid $357 now that may seem like a lot like upfront but that is so cheap when I was speaking to my therapist is it a therapist am I a therapist am I using the right word here skin therapist I don't even know when I was talking to my laser lady like at the first initial appointment I was saying to her how affordable it, it has become and I had no idea like I honestly thought it still cost like a thousand dollars to get done I was like there's no way like I can't just fork out a thousand dollars to have like no hair there's not a chance she told me like years back when she got hers done it often cost like three hundred dollars a session just for your underarm or just for your bikini and which is insane that is not affordable for most of us um but now to be paying like 350 for six sessions and like the products required for after treatment was really affordable so yeah $357 for me for six sessions some people need more some people need less I just went with six because of how fair my skin is and how well the laser should work um, but some people as I said will need more but you just sort of talk about that with your laser person so yeah that's how much it cost me mind you that's with a sale I had going but even without the sale it would have only been like maybe 400 or 500 okay so moving on to pain and what happened and how it worked and like preparing so basically so my laser lady told me not to have any fake tan on any fake tan residue and definitely to not go out in the sun for a week at least or two weeks before which obviously hasn't been an issue for me because we're only just coming out of winter 
my skin is pale AF, like that is me naturally. Yeah, I didn't have to worry about that, but I did have to scrub my tan off last night. And you shave the night before, they don't recommend to do it on the day because then, I don't know, like some people get rashy and like stuff, but shaved the night before, exfoliated all my tan off, and then just don't wear any like deodorant. And if you do, they have like wipes and stuff to wipe it off and everything. But yeah, so I shaved my underarms, I shaved my bikini line and everything last night. And basically you just go into the room, like you take your clothes off, you put the um, goggles sort of on so that you don't burn your retinas. And then she started doing my underarms. And so she put me on the highest setting today. She did my underarms and it didn't hurt. It was kind of a flicking, sort of like a band, uh, like, kind of like a, like a rubber band sort of flicking on you, but I don't even want to go as far as that. I feel like a rubber band would hurt more. That's just my experience anyway. Um, so that was over in like a minute. I want to say 30 seconds, but I feel like it might've been more a minute and it was fine. It was, if I'm being honest, it was more sensitive, like on the in a bit and like down here a bit but up here I honestly couldn't feel it I could hear it but I couldn't feel it same with the other one and then yeah so she went down and started doing my bikini line and she did like my left inner leg I suppose first and then she did like the top and I was like this is totally fine and she gets to like the other side and she starts doing it there and she said to me babe like are you all right and I was like yeah she's like can you like feel it and I was like oh not really she's like oh you must have like a high pain threshold like me so she must be she's similar to me in saying that some girls on that level on level 18 screaming and like pulling away and then other people like me can barely feel it and I was really relieved to hear that because I was going into my appointment going oh my gosh like what if it does hurt like I was preparing myself for the worst and then I was literally sitting there going, oh, is that it? It was such an anti-climax, but also such a relief that I was sitting there like, yo, like I can barely feel this, but I don't want to say that it's not going to hurt for you because as she said, everyone has different pain thresholds. Everyone has different levels that their laser is going to be on. Mine was on the highest level and for me to not feel it, is fantastic especially as they say that as the pain gets less and less as your laser goes on but yeah it honestly like if i had to describe the sort of feeling it was kind of hot and a bit i don't even want to go as far to say stingy because it didn't really sting it me like it was just like i could feel a sensation sort of like a flicking and a bit of heat in it but it honestly wasn't I wouldn't, I'd, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it a one or maybe a two. Like it really didn't hurt, but I, in saying that, I don't wanna say that it won't hurt you. I have spoken to people who have had the same procedure done and they're like, oh my God, it freaking hurts, but it's so worth it. So in terms of duration, for my underarm, she probably did a minute each on my underarm and then maybe two minutes down there because there's a little bit more to do. Um, and then it was over and she was like, that's all for today, babe. Like you can get dressed and like maybe out at the front got dressed, went out to the front and then sorted my next appointment and then I was off. It was so fast. Really, really happy with it. Obviously can't really talk about results or anything yet as I've only had one session, but I will be taking like before and after pics and I might even start doing like vlogs of when I go and get it done to show you guys if I'm allowed. I have to contact the business and sort of see if I can do that because some businesses are a bit iffy with filming. But if I can film the procedure, then I definitely will for you guys. So in terms of aftercare, you do get like two products. One is just for like heat, to take the heat out of it because you are, laser is effectively sort of beams down like into the start of the hair follicle. So where it begins and it's sort of like just a little, like a zap of light so that, so it sort of like cuts off the two blood vessels that are there that are supplying the blood for the hair to like, grow through and it sort of like zaps that and like kills that so after it you can get a bit of like redness and irritation and like heat so you get a cream that you put on two times a day for the first five days after you get laser and then you get like a sort of oil to put on those areas until you go for your next appointment pretty sure you have to avoid direct sunlight like tanning under the sun or solarium or whatever for a week after your appointment um just in case because you can burn a lot easier but as i said because i'm getting my underarms and bikini done it's pretty easy to cover those areas so which is good because i won't really have an issue over summer but yeah i can't wait to see what these six next six months or seven to eight months bring um, i'll be taking you guys on the journey with me if you guys want me to vlog in there and like keep you updated like every month on how it's going then i will do comment down below and let me know give this video a huge thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and then i'll know whether or not to keep talking about this or if you guys don't care about it because either way i don't mind also in saying this like i'm not encouraging laser in any way like you don't have to get laser to like feel good or whatever i'm just doing it because i'm sick of shaving i'm sick of getting ingrown hairs down there am i right ladies and it's just gonna be so much easier in summer like not having to worry like every time i go to the beach not having to worry about shaving or whatever like down there 
and I can just put on my bikini because like a lot of my bikinis like are a bit more frisky they're quite like small and I just don't want to have to worry about that and even like just shaving rush is like my main thing hair's like hair's hair like we've all got it it's fine like feminism but like I just get especially in summer I just get real bad like shaving rash and even if I don't have any hair down there it's like sort of like red and it's just an issue that I don't want to deal with anymore and my underarms like I don't know like they my underarm hair grows so fast and I'm just if people choose to grow out their hair under their arms that's sick I don't think it's gross or anything it's cool it's just a personal preference for me I like shaving and I am sick of it my underarm hair grows back so freaking fast my bikini liner down there don't really grow that fast but I do just want to get rid of that whole effort of shaving and like shaving rash and all of that that goes with it but yeah my underarm hair grows so 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 fast so I just can't wait to not have to deal with that <sighs> amazing just wanted to clear that up like I'm not saying that laser is laser hair removal something that you have to do it's definitely not and it's definitely a personal preference okay well thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video really helped in some way and I will see you guys in my next video I have a really like deep sort of meaningful controversially kind of video coming up soon I'm going to start filming that next week and I'm going to have a lot of sort of people in so definitely get ready for that it's going to be quite polarizing I'm hoping anyway and uh yeah keep your eyes peeled Dutchie fam sweet I will see you then bye